up you guys thank you for tuning in to today's video so as you can see by the title we are using mainly a full face of new makeup uh, that is out on the market so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also make sure that you subscribe hit the bell notification that way you are notified every time I do an upload and let's go ahead and jump into today's look so for starters we have the new uh, Juvia's Place brow pencil and I picked this up in the shade Ebony at first I was a little intimidated and thought it would probably be too dark but I've already used it once so you guys know I never do my brows on camera because they are uneven they're a mess but I usually brush my hairs up and I outline the bottom then I brush them down and just kind of outline the top. Um, easier for me to do it that way. But how have you guys been doing? I took a break because, not gonna lie, it's a little intimidating, um, you know, here on YouTube and you're trying so hard to think and create good content, but also, you know, your home life, mom life, it could be a lot. So I took a little break, but I was kind of glad to see all of these new releases because now I can put out content and, you know, we can try some new products together and a very honest review because I've been, I've still been watching, you know, my YouTube and I feel like a lot of people are not being honest about their reviews you know one thing i don't want to be is biased i can like a brand i can like the person that owns the brand but i'm not going to be biased when it comes to their products so um now my left my left brow is always hard for me to do for some reason And I just kind of do little strokes up in the like the front end and just fully through. That's mainly how I do my brows. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean them up with concealer and we will be right back. Okay, you guys. So thought I was recording, but anywho, we went in. So I cleaned up the brows with the NARS soft matte concealer in the shade ginger that is the only thing that I like to use for um, cleaning up the brows it works for me it's a thick consistency and it lasts um, for eyeshadow primer today we are trying the milk the new milk hydro grip um, eyeshadow primer so grips pigment locks on color 93% natural infused with hemp derived cannabis seed extract Hyaluronic acid, blue agave extract. Okay, so those are pretty much, you know, I guess it's supposed to be like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer for the face, so we'll see. Um, and then it was between, as far as eyeshadow, it was between Fenty Beauty's New Bomb Posse and this one. And I chose this one. Um, to me, it's obviously a little bit less expensive than the Fenty, but as far as getting more bang for your buck i chose to purchase this color pop palette now i'm a little upset because it came damaged and this shimmer shade fell out so color pop i'm gonna need another one but um this is the palette that we're going with so i'm thinking to maybe stick with the greens since you know that's color shirt you know kind of match with it you know but we're gonna go ahead and first I am going to use this shade up here called Bonafide which is like an off-white and I'm just gonna kind of use that to set the Milk Hydro Grip primer eye primer because 
it looks definitely very my lids look really oily and I don't know how that's really gonna work so I love you too. <laughs> so I chose to wait to film when they got out of school. I know. I know. But <laughs> so I am going to go in with the shade next to it called Stay Close. So very light nude and I'm just going to kind of run that in that crease but yes how have you guys been doing like like I said I had to take a little mental break um sometimes you can have just a lot going on in life in general and you just need a break and I know that you know my last couple of videos to me my mood was a little off or just trying to also keep up with the makeup world like I feel like for somebody like me who doesn't get PR like I'm buying all of this stuff out of my own pocket and that can be very expensive step just saying um next i am going to go in with this do i want to do that i think i'm gonna get a smaller brush for that it is this green shade called oblivion so i'm just gonna go in with that one and kind of work that like start from the bottom and kind of move it on up so might not be able to use a lot of shades out of the you know the section i'm not trying to go too crazy because after i'm done with my makeup i am going to be working out so you got to get everything in while the kids is occupied everybody didn't eat let mommy have her girl time but yeah um you know, it, it gets really expensive and just, you know, trying to keep up with so many new releases that's coming out. It's just like, um, sis. Okay. But next I'm taking, um, another shade is called Crave You on this fluffy BH Cosmetics brush. This is from their Rose Gold collection. I'm just kind of going to kind of clean up that green that went into the crease a little bit. So far, it's a pretty palette. Um, I love the variety of colors that you get in here. And, you know, like I said, it was more bang for the buck. Uh, as far as the shimmer shade because I think I'm just gonna leave it simple I don't really want to cut no crease or do none of that this shade here called surface I'm gonna take that on this crayon case concealer brush um, I've seen a youtuber juicy jazz um, I know for the people that don't watch YouTube often my family they wouldn't know who she was but she raved about this brush and I end up buying three of them because they are very inexpensive but um this will be a good brush too to clean up like under your brows if you want it but I like it more for applying glitters or shimmers so I have used this brush already because I couldn't wait to try it but um so that went on very soft. It's a very soft and subtle color, but I personally, I don't mind it. I'm gonna kinda go back in with that same green called Oblivion and just kinda mesh 
that with that shimmer shade we just put down and then i will not put any more product on the fluffy brush but i'll just kind of go back over top and just kind of make sure everything is blended together and we are going to leave the eyes as is but i like it so let me go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then we are going to pop on lashes and we'll get into complexion okay i'm liking uh-uh okay <clears throat> i'm liking these lashes they are it said new i don't know how new they are uh lash kiss lash couture in the style ga gala so these are really cute i do have to pick up their new um lashes it's called fifth avenue collection or something like that i saw them in cvs but <clears throat> i didn't want to wait till the sales rep came and you know unlocked them so yeah <clears throat> mm -mm. what i did end up doing this um crushed glitter color right here called ritual i did go ahead and use my finger and just kind of added that on top of that that gold shimmer shade <clears throat> so just to give it a little bit more to the eye look but so far so good now let's go ahead and prep the face so this is something um i think everybody's skin is changing um i'm gonna try this out while i'm here at home and i have nowhere to go just to make sure that i'm not a greasy mess but this is by pixie their vitamin c <clears throat> priming oil so i definitely want to apply this first before i go in with my um other primers because i don't typically like to just you know it feels good on the skin definitely hydrating but i don't want to just stick to this and this only in case so hopefully my makeup doesn't go sliding i mean it might go sliding anyway if i'm working out after this just saying so i think i am going to go in where's my other primer <clears throat> This is not new to me, but um, I'm going to go in with the one size Secure the Blur. And I'm going to put this on my T-zone. Hopefully. Yeah. We'll see. I might have to do a wear test with this um, Pixie Priming Oil. It's very expensive for it to be drugstore which i know a lot of people say that about pixie but i think it's definitely a lot cheaper than some other vitamin c oils that are out there so so far so good though i really like how it feels on my skin for today's foundation well like i said it's not a foundation it is a skin tint this is new to sephora it is the beauty blender bounce skin tint always on radiant skin tint says long wearing weightless buildable coverage brightens and hydrates so let's see now oh, let me shake this up because you know i get so mad when i watch videos and it says to shake it up and people don't shake it up it'd be like you that's why it didn't look right because you didn't shake it up I'm sorry. I am very, <laughs> I pay attention to everything like I'm sure everybody does. But So it has a dropper. And I picked this up in the shade Tan 3. Loaded. Is that enough? Let's stop there. And I am going to blend this out. This is by the brand DSMD Shop. So they are very inexpensive. I like the way their sponges feel. I don't think I would ever purchase a beauty blender because there are so many other inexpensive options. Definitely sheer as far as coverage. It's a good match, but um, I did pull out my Fenty Ease Drop 
skin tint in case this was too sheer but I might just leave it with this one you know since this is testing new products don't want to do too much Zef I don't know if it's radiant it says it's radiant but I don't know if it's radiant because I use that primer oil or if this is the beauty blender uh, okay not okay necessarily to the product but okay at the the complexion match because I was gonna get medium I think it was like medium four or something like that but you know how they show pictures of like the women who tried that shade and I'm like ah that might be too light so I'm glad that I took that out of my cart before I checked out Why my lash. Oh. So definitely, again, radiant, very pretty, natural, you know, look. It's like your skin, but better. But I think I kind of like it. It's very lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on my face, which is true. So I'm definitely going to have to keep using this to obviously test it out and make sure um, that it's giving what, you know, needs to give. For concealer, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their new Magic Touch Concealer. I picked mine up in the shade 10. So we are going to go right in with her. Everything I purchased, I did mainly online and I am so proud of myself because shade matching yourself online can be very, very challenging. So I'm going to kind of let that sit for a little bit and apply my cream. What is it? Oh, my cream contour. I did pick up the new, uh, this is not new, it's new to me, but it is by Kaja. So you get the blush if I can open it you get the blush which is not y'all know it's not usually my tone but I'm gonna try it you get a highlighter and then you get a cream bronzer or contour however you want to say it so I'm gonna pick that up on my elf complexion brush hopefully let me pick up too much so definitely cool tone um, I did go in with the light hand so it's not as dark as I would think it would have been but I feel like I see it more here than I do on my forehead um, yeah I don't really see it picking up much and this is in the shade 2 cloud latte so I think they only have three shades in this. It's supposed to be one, two, and three is the deepest. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I really don't like cool tone products, but you know, I guess. And close that on up. Uh, let me blend out this concealer. So I like how this is blending out. Very creamy. And a nice medium coverage i'm glad i also i've been purchased a lot of these products but i was trying to save everything because some stuff did take a little longer to come in um like my it's a mood palette that honestly just came today so i'm like you know what let me let me <laughs> film but um i feel like my lash is trying 
don't do it. But I really, so far, out of the complexion products, I'm liking the concealer and the skin tint. Um, since it did say it's buildable, I just didn't want to even chance it and, and do all of that. But I'm definitely going to continue to use it. So to set the face, I'm so excited for this. This is the new Makeup Forever HD Ultra Setting Powder. I picked mine up in the shade 3, which is golden. It says golden beige. I thought it said something different online, but... Mm. Mm -hmm. It also comes with this little puff, which I like. Um, I purchased a lot of those puffs online, like on Amazon, but we have one that came with it. So it does have a little flap. Looks kind of the color almost reminds me of the honey. Um, what is it? Laura Mercier shade. So let's go ahead and use the puff since it came with. And hurry up. Set our under eye. You still see the radiance there. And this is definitely giving it that matte setting look. I don't, off the top, I don't like how it's like I'm trying to get it out and not much is coming out. Um, not sure about this, but we're going to keep going. Yeah. I don't personally like that barely any product is coming out. But it's definitely setting. Like, girl, am I doing something wrong? What's going on here? You make me mad. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to figure out how to take this lid off. So I'm just kind of setting everywhere that I put my concealer. So. Definitely took some of that shine down. I wish I can get a little bit more out to go back under the eyes. Because I feel like it just needs a little bit more. But yeah, it's like. If you see how many times I've shaken it and it's like this is all that's coming out. Like what's that supposed to set? What do we set it? Okay. All right, whatever. Packaging may not be the greatest, but I like how it toned down that that radiance that I had going on. Um, so that is the Makeup Forever powder. Um, for the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with my one size in the shade medium dark one neutral golden. I'm just going to kind of set the rest of the face with that. Still got some radiance peeking through so again i don't know if that's the foundation or you know i thought i had hmm. well now let me go get a bronzer because i don't have one right here and i'll be right back Okay, so for bronzer, Charlotte Tilbury, shade 3. Uh-uh, what's that going to do? You guys, I am so mad. Like, I was so excited for my little... I was so excited for this palette, and it came broke. Like, 
That's probably what I get. I mean, I was rushing the UPS man. Like, watching him and everything. So I bring my stuff. And now look at me. Broken. So is it just me? Or I don't like how that looks. I feel like putting my bronzer on my left side. Anything that has to go on this side. I am terrible at it. Like. I just don't always work out. Put a little bit on the nose. Just kind of set whatever cream I did put. Girl, this double chin. <sighs> you guys, I be trying to work out. I think my issue is eating. Like, I like to eat. I like food. I like my food to be flavorful. Don't give me nothing that ain't got no flavor to it because then I'm going to be mad and that's just not a good thing. Like, but I'm trying. Sort of, kind of. For blush, we are going to go in with that Kaja, you know, pink one. I'm going to use this Luxie Duo Fiber brush. I got this brush a long time ago in a box of charms. Um, does anybody still do boxy charm? Like, I kind of want to sign back up for it, low key. I had like the, what's that, like the, when they first came out with the, like the, not VIP, but you know what I mean? Like the real big box. Um, it's a cute little moment. But again, not necessarily a color I would go for, but it's definitely a nice, you know, wash of color. Where is that brush at? Put a little bit on the nose. Okay. And then for highlights, I am going to use... The highlighter in this as well so again i'm just going to take this on the nose in cupid's bow so in order with this i like the highlighter then the blush then the cream um this doesn't look like it would necessarily i mean well it does look cool tone i just it's just not my fave but you know now, I think what I want to do is set the face, and we're going to go in. I picked up the mini size to really see if I like it. If I like it, I honestly am probably going to go ahead and order um, the full size. But the new one size, On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Mmm. Say waterproof, sweat proof, transfer proof, 18 hour mattifying setting spray sets your makeup with next level hold. So, I'm gonna shake her up. Mm -mm, hold on. Oh, girl. It smells like perfume or something. It's a very strong fragrance. Uh, <clears throat> it's more airy than the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Fragrance doesn't bother me too much, but when you first spray it, it's definitely strong. I don't feel anything. I don't feel like I sprayed anything, but we'll see. I'm going to try to leave this on for at least five hours or so um, because it's already like five o'clock. So I'm going to try to leave it on for a little bit the rest of the night. I'm not going to touch up. And then I'll let you guys know in the description box how it held up. Um, as far as, let me go ahead and set my brows really quick. And I'm just using my e.l.f. brow gel. Low key, my brows just felt like really hard. And maybe it was that spray. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and do my lower lash line. Baby. Woo. I still smell whatever fragrance that is. 
like I said, I don't, I don't know. I don't mind it. I know a lot of people are sensitive or, you know, their skin is sensitive to stuff like that. And I get it. I don't mind it. It just kind of threw me off. Um, I am going to take, do I want to take the same green? Yeah, I'll just take the same green. Keep it simple. What brush is this? This is a Morphe M321. And if you guys hear my baby in the back, he has not taken a nap all day. He'll be two in November. And I think, you know how they start, kids start going through that stage where they don't really want to take a nap. Or if they do, it's only for like a good hour, hour and a half. You know, when they were little, their naps are long. I'm going to take this uh, Love Sound shade in the palette and just kind of pop this on the inner corner. Okay, let me go. I don't think I grabbed a lower waterline color. So let me go grab a put liner in my waterline. We'll come back, try this mascara, and do lips, and then we will be all done. I think it's my allergies, like my left eye is always watering now and I don't understand why okay I gotta fix this lash but I'll do that when we're done so for waterline I went in with the LA girl pastel dream in the shade magic mint so I can't really see it because of the um you know color of the eyeshadow so for lower lash mascara I did pick up the mini size of the rare beauty the new rare beauty mascara and honestly i've already used this off camera i like it i picked up the mini size because i already have you know a mascara open I don't want to open two full size mascaras, but for the top lashes, it really does volumize and lengthen. And I think it is definitely worth the money. So for lips today, I am going in with the Makeup Forever um, Limitless Brown Lip Liner. And it's very pricey for a lip liner. I think this is what, $20? But I saw, her name is Jasmine Ardell. I watch her a lot and clearly that's what happens to me. I watch YouTube and I purchase what you guys use. And for lips, I did pick up one of the new Fenty Heat lip glosses. This is in the shade Fenty Glow and these are pumping, plumping glosses. I was really afraid to try them because I had such a bad experience, a bad experience and outbreak with that, um, the Too Faced one. I, I cannot use that one. So when I went to Sephora, she's like, we just got them in. I'll give you a little sample on the little, you know, cotton thing. And she's like, just put it on your lips. Walk around the store. Let me know how it feels before you purchase it. Because I was going to be mad if I purchased the $20 gloss and my lips broke out. It does take about a good two to three minutes before the plumping, you know, effect sets in. But I say within like maybe five minutes from that. That feeling does go away my lips did not turn red they did not feel dry or anything like that 
So I like it. And this is the completed look. So let me know what you guys think. This lash is not behaving. I'm going to have to pull it off. But this is definitely the completed look. Let me know if you guys like, okay, I'm torn in between. Do I buy the Fenty palette or do I not? Like, I want to just to do my own review. I've been into Sephora at least three times and I just stare at the palette and it just, to me, it looks how it does online. It just doesn't make me feel like I want to spend my dollars and right now my lips is like they tingling Ooh. but out of everything I do love all of the products that I've tried I love how easy that concealer blends out the only thing that I would say I do not like is this little um, Kaja compact I, I don't care for it um, it's just me the bronzer really didn't show up much like you know on the forehead area and by being cool tone I feel like I have other great options to use um, other than that I think everything else looks great I again love this for the price the colors in here are definitely giving fall and winter vibes it's this this you know plum purple burgundy situation they're definitely giving fall and winter but um color pop why i come like that though because now i can't use that one shade if i wanted to do a blue moment that's the only thing that you know i gotta say about that but again guys Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also let me know if you have any makeup ideas or any type of videos or tutorials that you would like to see from me in the future. Please let me know down below. And again, you guys have a great day and blessed day and i will see you guys later bye